Hey everybody, welcome back to another Motivation Monday podcast for Monday, November 5th, 2018. Hope you had a great weekend. And this episode is going to be uh, less than happy. I wish I wasn't recording this episode, but I am. We learned of the passing of one of the great musicians of our time on Saturday, and that was Roy Hargrove, the amazing trumpeter, band leader, sideman, everything you could imagine, human being, um, just of such a fantastic musician. And for myself personally, uh, which I'm sure is true for a lot of you out there listening, one of the most impactful musicians that I've ever heard. Um, He was a major, major player for me that kind of got me into this life, you know, got me pursuing music at a really high level. When I was in high school, so many great records came out by Roy Hargrove. And, you know, he had this ability to cross genres, but do it in such a genuine way that, I mean, when you bought a Roy Hargrove record, you just knew it was going to be great. You didn't have to hear it first. You knew that when you took home some music by him, it was just going to be fantastic, at least for me. So I figured I would record this episode as kind of a a dedication to Roy and his life. He's only 49 years old, which is just so sad, just way too early uh, for somebody to be gone from this world. And it's just really, really heartbreaking uh, to learn of this news over the weekend. And the jazz community has really uh, taken a huge loss. Um, If you go on Facebook and you're friends with a lot of the the musicians out there, you just see that everybody is talking about their own personal experience with Roy and his music. I did not know him personally, but I know a lot of people that have met him and have played with him and hung out with him. And just by all accounts, this was... uh, one of the greatest people out there. Um, So just a tremendously sad week uh, for jazz music, learning of the passing of Roy. So I wanted to give you guys a couple of my favorite records by Roy Hargrove. I think one of the, the best things that we can do to honor the legacy of somebody like this is to listen to their music and and pass their music around and, and make sure their contributions to the art form live on for a long time. So these are some of my favorite recordings that made a huge impact on me as a musician and as a fan of jazz. And I suggest that you go out there and you you check these out this week because I think that there probably isn't a single one of us listening to this podcast that can't gain something out of these recordings. So one of the first records that I ever, ever heard, uh, one of my best friends in high school, Chris, he was given this CD by our band director. And I mean, we used to just drive around or go to somebody's house and listen to this for hours and hours and hours when it definitely one of the most important recordings uh, for me as a musician was the Tokyo Sessions from 1992. And that was Roy Hargrove and the great saxophonist Antonio Hart. So that was a game changer for me. Really changed my life. I can say genuinely that that record changed my life. Then a couple of other records with uh, one of Roy's most famous bands, one of his most well-known bands, the RH Factor, there were two records from 2003 and 2004 called Hard Groove and Strength that really made a huge impact on me. And then a couple of years after that, another RH Factor record called Distractions came out that was just, you know, some of the most excellently put together music that I can think of even to this day. And this was that real kind of genre crossover music. He was really incorporating elements of R&B and hip hop and everything else that he loved. It just showed off his versatility and his real soulful kind of uh, approach to the music. He was really just such a genuine musician. That was one of the things um, that I loved so much about him. And then finally, I mean, obviously there's a million recordings that I could cite, but I'm only going to give you guys a couple enough to kind of digest over the next couple of weeks here. One of my favorite recordings from 2008 called Ear Food. And this was a little bit more kind of straight down the middle in terms of jazz. Uh, definitely 
not as much on the same vibe as the RH Factor records, but the compositions on Ear Food are just like textbook. I only wish that I could write music that was as hip and uh, impactful as Roy wrote on this particular record. So anyways, just wanted to mention what a huge loss uh, this is for our music and just kind of try to pay homage to one of the best trumpet players, in my opinion, who ever lived. And Roy was so famous for just showing up at sessions uh, in the past couple of years at, at Smalls in New York City. And uh, everybody just loved him. I, I haven't heard a bad word spoken about this person as a musician or a man. Um, and that really says something. I think we can think about that when we think about the way that we approach interactions or the way that we live our lives and uh, try to take a page out of Roy's book and um, just really thank him for everything that he's done uh, throughout his career and his life as a musician. And rest in peace, Roy Hargrove. Thanks for everything. All right, we'll see you on Friday with another episode. Try to have a good week, everybody. Thanks. Bye.